guys, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. I'm down in San Diego. I'm teaching a workshop down here. It starts tomorrow. I've been scouting for a couple of days. This morning, I took a lot of uh, brown pelican flight shots, and I'll show you those in part of this tutorial. But I want to show you how I set up my camera for that and how I set up my camera for birds in flight in general. First thing that I do when I think about birds in flight is I make sure I start with a fresh battery so I've got a lot of power and I start with an empty card so I don't have to change the battery or change the card while I'm trying to get the birds in flight and I don't miss any action. Then the next thing I do is I set up my lens. I've got the 70 to 200 uh, lens on the, on the camera today. And I, I set the limiter switch to 2.5 meters to infinity so that the lens isn't trying to focus really close. I don't want anything really close. Nothing's going to be really close. So by, by limiting the focusing range, then you're just saving time, you're saving energy, you're saving battery power, and that works better. Then I make sure the autofocus switches on, and then I turn image stabilization off. The reason I turn image stabilization off is because in the camera, I'm shooting in manual mode. I'm shooting at 1 1500th of a second F8 at ISO 400. If you have a really fast shutter speed like that, you do not need image stabilization. Just turn it off, save some battery power, have the battery just power the autofocusing motor, and maybe it'll even autofocus faster. The third thing that I'm going to check here while I'm working with my camera and my lens is I'm going to pre-select my autofocus selection areas. The one I'm going to choose is the center point with the four assist points because these birds are going to be moving pretty consistently, pretty steadily. They're not really erratic. Okay, the last tip here is that I have the 1.4 extender and the 25 millimeter extension tube with me all the time. In shooting this morning, there were times when I used the 1.4 extender just because the 70 to 200 wasn't giving me enough reach and I was shooting on the 5D Mark IV. So it really was 70 to 200 millimeters and then the 1.4 gave me a little bit more reach. So just by having these with me, I was able to save some shots this morning. Hey, if you enjoy what I'm doing on my channel, give me a like or a subscribe. Share this with your friends. Maybe they'd like to learn a little bit more about birds and flight photography. So I will see you next Wednesday and have fun and good shooting. See ya.